What's up everybody, Alien Spartan 117 here, and today we will be discussing a Halo 6 theory. So we all assume that humanity will be fighting against Cortana to stop her created uprising, that the Master Chief and the forces of the UNSC, the Spartan 4s, and maybe the Swords of St. Helios will all team together and defeat Cortana. What if Halo 6 takes a darker twist? One thing that is clear in the Halo lore is that humanity does not always get along. We have fought against each other before the Covenant War even started with insurrectionists, and obviously that was the reason for the entire Spartan 2 program to begin with. Also, there is a rise in insurrection and growing in strength after the end of the Covenant War. Taking a look at what Cortana is offering in her created is a state of martial law. It is pretty much a state of, we will protect you as long as you do what you're told. Now, often we think that they will rebel against this, and certainly there will be some humans who will. The Master Chief of the UNSC will obviously not take heed to Cortana's plans. But what about humanity as a whole? What about the insurrection? And what about the average citizen? Let's look into the mind of the average citizen of the human race during this time frame of the Halo War. They have been through 30 years of war against the Covenant. And they have went through the attack on Earth by the Dynact. They have went through the insurrection. Humanity has been through a lot. And the average human may be just ready to let it all down and obey a few rules just to have peace in their lives. To not lose any more loved ones to forerunner weaponry or covenant plasma beams. Sure, there will be humans that continue the fight. But with that said, how much of the human race would be willing to just give in to Cortana's plan and would actually accept her offer? This doesn't lay with the political spectrum of the UNSC or the UEG. It lies with every human. Every human will have a decision to make. A lot of them will decide to resist, and of course pretty much every branch of ONI the UNSC will decide to. But when you think of the perspective of a mother, who lost all of her children in the glassing of reach. Or you think about a father who lost his son in the Didex attack on New Phoenix. It's easy to see how these people may just want to have peace. The human race may just be exhausted of death and destruction and would be ready to just give in to anything which was offering peace. And that might be the true horror that Cortana is offering. Even though her plan is that of a martial law and control, she also offers peace. Peace is something that entire generations of humans in the Halo War have not even known. Almost everybody would know of some family members who's died in a war, and everybody knows about the glasses of Reach, they know about the war and the horror that it brought, but can anybody except for the elderly in the Halo War truly remember a time of peace? Is that going to be a factor in the Halo 6 plot? What factions of humans, maybe the insurrectionists, will actually heed to Cortana's plans because they would no longer be under the control of the Earth government? Or what other factors could come into play? Will there be factions of humans who heed to Cortana's plan? We already know that the young Goy have heeded her plan for a similar reason. Would branches of humanity, or possibly all of civilian humanity as a whole, be willing to give in to this? It's a scary thought, but the entire Halo narrative is in an uncertain and scary place. Thank you guys for watching, I enjoy your support, and I ask you to please hit that subscribe button and leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed the content. Feel free to check out some of the other videos here, and I ask you guys to please leave your opinions on this idea and the possibilities that it could carry for the future of the lore below. Thank you for your time, this has been Alien Support 117, and have a good day.